Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one is uh, based on the Jigsaw ransomware that's doing around. So it's pretty nasty. And what it does is it encrypts all your files. As you can see, when you click on the actual file here, you will get a thank you. Congratulations. Your software has been registered. Confirm code 994759. And email us this code in chat to activate your software. Now, when you click OK here, Let's take a look at uh, Process Explorer and find out what's going on. You can see here there is a drpbx.exe there. And uh, that's running. You can see the CPU is starting to uh, whir away there. Now we'll just let this uh, give it some time uh, to activate because it needs to do something. You can see here in the background it's doing something. So we'll just let this populate itself. There you go. It's on the screen now. And there you are, it says your computer files have been encrypted. Your photos, videos, documents, etc. But don't worry, I have not deleted uh, them yet. So now that we have the ransomware fully loaded, as you can see here, it's given us our description of what's happening. Your computer files have been encrypted, your photos, videos, documents, etc. But don't worry, I've not deleted all them yet. So basically, it's playing a game with you, uh, which Saw does in the movie, as you can see. And uh, it's given you time to pay 150 US dollars in Bitcoins to get the decryption key. And you have 24 hours to pay. Um, and then it says every hour files will be deleted, increasing in the amount every time after 72 hours, all that will be left will be deleted. So you can see here it's threatening with deleting all your data unless you pay the ransomware. And you have the countdown clock here. Very uh, ingenious sort of ransomware, really, the way they've done it. I like the, uh, the, the way they've done it. It's based on a theme, basically, but it is malicious and nasty because obviously it's encrypted all your stuff. So let's take a look here at what it's done. So if we look in inside here, let me just move this to one side. If we look inside the pictures folder here, you can see that it has encrypted all your data. Now, the good news is that uh, Bleeping Computer and a few other guys there uh, have worked on a program to decrypt your files, and I will show that in this video on how you can decrypt your files. So let's take a quick look at a process explorer here you can see this file is running here and this is the culprit that we need to remove as well you can see Firefox um, there so if we right click on the process explorer here let me just see uh, the locations here for this file you can see the location is in local DRP BX and then forward slash DRP. You can see that's the location there. And if you want to explore that, it will take you straight to uh, that location here. So this is the culprit that we need to remove, okay? So I'm not sure whether we can just right click and delete that. We will need to probably do that through um, uh, Process Explorer there. So we can do that. So let me just quickly uh, see if we can do this here. I'm gonna click the process tree here and delete that okay that's now gone so we have this file on the desktop here which is the file that started all this off um, so what we want to do here now is I'll show you the bleeping computer website that actually offers a tool where you can decrypt all your files Okay, so as you can see, I'm at Bleeping Computer's website now, and I will put the link in the description for this uh, Jigsaw ransomware decryption tool to decrypt your files. So you can see here's a pretty new uh, ransomware. It's not been around that long. Uh, Lawrence Abrams and also uh, Malware Hunter Team, Demon Slay 335, and also uh, himself, which is uh, Lawrence Abrams has created a tool which will allow you to decrypt your files so you can just hit this download link i will put the link in the description for you now i think to remember is when you're before you start doing this make sure you delete this uh, ransomware as soon as possible uh, because on reboot you can see here it says finally jigsaw will set an auto run that starts the ransomware each time 
you log into Windows. Unfortunately, each time the ransomware starts, it will also delete 1,000 of your encrypted files, and that can be quite devastating um, to people if they especially want those particular files back. Once they're gone, they're gone. So this will encrypt all your data, but just bear that in mind. Just try and get rid of the ransomware straight away without rebooting, and, and then you can uh, decrypt all your uh, files. So you can see here also it gives you the path to where all these files files reside so where you can get rid of them I've already shown you some of these places but we'll take a look at these in a second so let's get started with that as well so you can see here the registry key here as well you can use this as a reference if you want to to go to these locations you can run scans with uh, other tools like Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro and, and tools of the like to help remove these uh, uh, these are ransomwares as well so let's take a look at, at the location so we're going to go into the C drive here and then users and then into the account that's infected here now you're going to need to make sure that you go to organize folders and search options view and then show hidden files folders and drives um, we're gonna take the tick out of hide ex file extensions and also I'm just going to remove the tick out of the operating system files just to make sure we can see everything now we've done that we can see the app data folder and now we can see the roaming folder you can see this folder here system work system 32 work and this is where uh, these files are here so what we're going to do is going to get rid of this now remember we've already killed that process with process explorer so bear that in mind the process for that has stopped running um, if I run this up here you'll see it's not actually running on the system if I reboot the system it without deleting those files it will restart so just bear that in mind and uh, what we're going to do here is go back to our roaming area and you can see there is another one here there's no Firefox on this system um, but if you look here this was related to it as well Bitcoin blackmailer.exe original name so you can see here when we right click on this Firefox exe file it's given us the information here the file version file uh, Firefox uh, product version which can be quite misleading because you can see the copyright is to Firefox and Mozilla um, but when you look down further here you get the original file name is Bitcoin blackmailer.exe so we know that that's moody and that needs to come off the system so we're just going to delete this and we're going to go back and then we're going to go into local here and again uh, we're going to look into this folder here and this was the actual process that was running on that system so we need to delete this one as well before it starts running again and inside this uh, temp folder here you might have some stuff here so we can always delete uh, some stuff in here so I'm just gonna do this anyway we can skip that one and come out of there now again if you get stuck you can always come back to a bleeping computers website and take a look if there's anywhere else that you may have missed but pretty much that is all the locations and again uh, this is a uh, H key current user software Microsoft Windows current version run and you'll see that there now you could download auto runs and that will do that for you if you don't want to go into the registry and let's just take a look at auto runs I can get that for you and we can take a look so we'll just download auto runs from sys internals now again you can go do this manually if you're more experienced uh, with this sort of stuff but I'm trying to keep it simple for people that aren't familiar with the registry and they may get a bit daunted so we'll just keep this nice and simple um, we're going to run this here and I'm just going to click run agree and let that open up and again here we're just going to expand this a little bit so we can see what we're doing here So if we take a look through here, what we're looking for is that file location here. You can see that one there. 
So we can we can delete this this one here. So now that's now removed there. Okay guys, so the next part for me was to uh, download the program for you. I did show you the downloaded part, but that bit got encrypted. Um, and I wanted to show you the decryption part, but I can't because Bleeping Computer's download uh, part is not working. As you can see, it's uh, not letting me download. And I think it's either they're having bandwidth issues or they're getting DDoSed or, or or wherever it is, they may be updating a server or something. It's just not let me download this file. And I've tried it on my computer and also on the virtual machine and on a laptop. It's still not let me download it. So I can't show you this part, but it is straightforward and I'll explain it to you quickly. Uh, select the directory and then decrypt your files. It's that simple. It, it can't be more easy than that. Once you've selected directory, uh, decrypt your files, you should see files decrypted. Let me just quickly show you what that means in a nutshell. You just go to the location, like say pictures. This is a directory, that's what they mean by directory. You select this area, and this has got all your decrypted files in it, and uh, sorry, encrypted files in it, and then you just push decrypt, and it should decrypt those files for you. I was hoping to show you that part, but obviously I can't. If I get time later on, and they have fixed that issue, I will add that bit in the video, but I'm running out of time now, so I pretty much doubt it's gonna be on the video. So anyway, with that said, I'm hoping you enjoyed it. This one's uh, going to be done. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do and you find it useful or you think it helps someone, then share it with your friends. Also, give it a thumbs up. And also, hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or any software reviews you want me to do, then post that stuff on the forum. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then you can always head over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you anything. Okay, guys, it's bank holiday weekend here, so I'm going to be doing some work in the garden, hopefully, and maybe a bit of barbecue if it's nice. And uh, I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.